guys, it's Kimberly. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial for you guys. This is my fresh face everyday look. This is definitely my go-to when I'm just not really sure what else to do. Um, so if you guys want to see how I got this simple, easy, yeah. everyday look, please keep watching. All right, guys, so let's get started on this kind of um, fresh face look. Um, first, I'm going to start out with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I'm just going to apply this. Um, not a whole lot, but just a little bit to my kind of T-zone where I have more um, of my pores, obviously, and more rough skin. I'm just going to rub that in. Kind of pressing it into your skin is the best thing to do with most all primers, especially anything that's going to kind of blur or fill pores. It's better to kind of like press it in. Oh, did you get stuck? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Let me make sure I'm recording. Uh, 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 okay, we are recording. <laughs> Good. Uh, All right, so once you have primer on, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put primer on my eyelids just to go ahead and let that kind of get set. And yeah. today, oh, I guess I should show you what I'm using. Yeah. Today, I am going to, I've got babies, by the way. Um... I'm going to use the Milani Eye Primer. I've been using this. Um, it says allow to set for 30 seconds, but I'm going to allow it to set for a while. Um, but anyways, I really like this. I have used the Urban Decay Priming Potion before, and I've also used... Um, <laughs> are you stuck? Yeah. <laughs> they're playing in Daddy's chair. They're stuck. Um, anyways, I have used the Urban Decay Priming Potion before, and I've also used the um, Laura Behind the Scenes Eye Priming Potion, or whatever it's called. And I like both of those, but I feel like this does just as good um, as far as priming my eyelids, and it's like a fraction of the cost. So, anyways. Alright, so just blend any kind of primer on. So my face, my eyes, everything is primed now. Um, Alright, so for foundation, I'm just going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I am in Fresco, which is, careful, a little bit, I feel like it's a little bit dark for me. But um, this is what I typically use in the summertime. And this is what they matched me to, again, um, right now, which is surprising. But, yeah, they, uh said that this matched. So maybe it matches more like my neck. Um, but maybe not actually my skin. So I'm going to just dot this on and then rub it in with my fingers and then we'll blend it out with a beauty blender slash my Real Technique sponge. So now for concealer, I'm going to be using this CoverGirl um, Fresh Complexion Concealer, and I really like this. It just looks like this. I've already got a backup of it because I like it so much. Um, I think I feel like it covers good, and it also um, is a good color for me. I don't know what I've got it in. Probably a lot or something, so I'm just going to kind of draw some lines on my face. Um, and then I'm going to just to highlight going with the Atria wand, and this is in um, Brighton and um, the Brighton Illuminator one. I really like this one just because it does brighten and illuminate. Um, so I'm going to what's the matter? Place that under my eyes as well, kind of in this triangle. And it has kind of a peach look to it. Well, go get it, baby. You got your milk. You've got your milk, baby. I'll get your juice in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to place that just down the middle of my face and then underneath my eyes and just blend that in as well. Stop with my foundation and move on to my eyes. I know that's kind of random, but um, today I'm just going to be doing a very simple look and I'm going to use the Kat Von D. Um, I think this is the Ladybird palette. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Ladybird palette. And, um... It looks like this. It is an all matte palette. Um, when I do fresh face, I usually like to do pretty much all matte, maybe just a little pop of shimmer on my eyelids, but um, I'm just going to use a couple colors out of this. So these are colors that you can use out of your own collection, just whatever you want. I'm just going to take a big 
fluffy blending brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to go into this color here which is kind of a mid-tone brown and it is called Woof. Is that right? No. Harlow. So it's this one right here and it's just kind of a little bit darker than my skin tone and I'm just going to be buffing that into my crease lightly and like I said this is just a fresh face look so I'm not going to do a whole lot with my eyes. I'm just going to blend this in really good. Alright, um, now I'm going to just take a kind of domed brush and I'm going to go in with a little bit of this darker brown color here, which is called Woof. And I'm just going to just barely dot it in because I don't want a whole lot more color than this, but just a little bit on the outer edge of my eye. Same blending brush that we just used to put our first color on and then just blend that all out again. Alright, now for my lid, I'm actually going to use a shadow that I got in a, let me think, was it my Ipsy bag? I think it may have been my Ipsy bag last month. Um, and it is by um, Elizabeth Mott and it's called Pop Goes the Shadow and this is in Champagne. I think a lot of people got this color. Um, it looks like this. It's just a sham, literally just a champagne color. Um, so I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. I'm just going to use an e.l.f. brush. It looks like this. And I'm going to just pat that onto my eyelid just for a little bit of sparkle on my eyelid instead of doing a completely matte look. So this is just... super easy. So I really like doing looks like this that are just super easy. Um, I'm going to do my highlight under my brow bone as soon as I'm through doing my eyebrows. But next I'm going to... You want... Oh, you got your purse? Good. That's awesome. That looks really good with your pajamas. <laughs> Alright, so anyways... Um, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face a little bit. Today I'm just going to use the um, Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. And this is in medium to dark. Um, I kind of switch up bronzers. I like to use all different kinds of bronzers. But um, today I just feel like this is the one for the look. So, I don't know, baby. So, I'm just going to put this in my typical bronzer places on my forehead onto my cheekbones just a little bit just to warm that up and then on my chin and down my neck a little bit. Now for a um, contour. I always, even if I'm doing a fresh face look, sorry I'm talking over babies. Um, I always like a pretty harsh contour. That's my personal preference. Obviously if you don't like that then don't do it for yourself. So I'm going to use the Chocolate uh, Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced and I like a very harsh contour. I don't know if that camera moved or not, but anyways. I like a pretty harsh contour. I like to come down further than most people do um, because I like the really kind of um, defined cheekbones and I like more of a um, kind of square chin and I feel like by bringing my contour down more I get more of a look like that. Let me make sure I'm recording. I am. Sorry, guys. Um, anyways, so I'm just going to use this, and this is the, or no, this is the Ulta Contouring Brush. What is it? Contour Lush Brush. Um, and I'm just going to use this to, um, this Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is awesome for contouring on my skin tone. And I'm just going to bring that from my hairline and blend that down. And like I I like a harsh contour. I do blend this out a little bit more when I go in with my powder to powder my face. But I like to come down almost to my mouth. Personal preference, obviously, so you can do how you wish. Most people only go down 
you know, a finger length or so. Um, that's kind of the typical, but I like the hollows of my cheeks to be very hollow. So that's what I do. So I just kind of fluff that down. Okay, the other places I'm going to contour a little bit more is my big old forehead that I got that I am embracing and loving. Gives me more room to put makeup, so I'm going to be, be okay with that. So you just want to kind of buff that on. And then I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. And this is, I think this is just a Soho London brush. And this is actually an eyeshadow brush, but I like it because it's a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it's a little bit flatter. Um, but it's wide, so it's good to kind of contour with on my nose. So, um, get, you can use brushes for anything. You know, like, you don't have to use an eyeshadow brush for eyeshadow. You don't have to use a contour brush or a blush brush for a blush brush. I mean, you can use brushes however you... Hey, so what you eating? Or digging it over there. It's afraid the girls dropped their breakfast, but they didn't. Um, anyways, you can highlight, contour, blush, bronze, do your eyeshadow with whatever brush you feel comfortable with. It does not have to say what it is on it for you to use it. Alright, so that is what I'm going to do as far as contouring goes. A bit of yeah. A Okay. okay, so today I'm going to powder my face with the Dream Matte Powder by Maybelline. And this, I'm so sad, this is discontinued. But they do have the Dream Wonder now, which I have heard is kind of the same thing. I think it may have just been reformulated to be even better. So I'm hoping that I do have one of those. I just haven't popped it open until I use this one. But I have definitely hit pan and I am almost out of this. So I'm going to use everything that I have left because this is my favorite powder ever. Um, but I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do a little blush. For today I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweetheart blush and this one is in Candy Glow. Um, super cute packaging, love it. And this is what it looks like. Um, and I like this one because it's kind of a highlight and blush in one so you don't really have to use a highlight I don't feel like. So I'm just going to use, this is just an e.l.f. Um, kind of blush brush and I'm just going to pop that onto my cheeks and it's just kind of a natural kind of pinky peach color. So next I am going to do my eyebrows and I'm just going to use my well wet <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm just gonna use my wet and wild um, ultimate brow kit. I didn't even show you guys this. Um, this is just an ash brown. I feel like it's a little bit dark for me because I do not love, love, love dark eyebrows. But I'm going to go ahead and use it. You need yours off of Okay, unzip it. You do the rest. So I'm just going to do a pretty light eyebrow today because when I do a fresh face, I don't want to do a really harsh eyebrow, but... Now I'm going to go back in and highlight with this Kat Von D palette. I'm just going to use this shade here, which is called, uh, I don't know, Vespertine? I don't know. Just a matte kind of, I don't know, creamy white highlight. And I'm just going to put that under my brow bone. Do a quick eyeliner. First, I'm going to tight line with the Physicians Formula Coal Liner. Okay, so now to do a quick line on my eyes, I'm going to be using the Lorac um, Front of the Line Pro. This is my all-time favorite felt tip liner, and I'm just going to be doing a small wing.
once I've got that done, I'm going to put on some little half lashes and I'll be right back. All right, guys, now I just added some little half lashes just to the ends of my eyes, just to give a little bit of something, but not like crazy. Um, so I am going to go back in with this color Wolf, which was this kind of darker brown, and I'm just gonna smudge that on my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to put a little coat of mascara onto my bottom lashes. my fresh face um, to top this off um, if you want to go a very kind of natural fresh face look um, you can go with a nude lip um, my kind of go-to nude um, is always Fergie daily but just to switch it up I also like the um, nude lust and these are the what are these color sensations so the I think it's Maybelline color sensations and this is 920 um, and that is again nude lust and it looks like this and I really like that um, So I will try that on and show you what it looks like with a nude lip All right, so there is a nude lip and you could top that with any kinds of gloss to kind of brighten that up as well um, so that is very natural kind of you know fresh face easy eyes um, soft cheeks and a nude lip, but I am going to do a little something different with my lips. All right, so for my lips today, I am going to add a little bit of color and I'm just going to use the CoverGirl, um, I don't know what these are called. Outlast probably, <laughs> sounds right. Um, lipsticks in there in this kind of gunmetal type of um, tube, I guess. And this is 330 Divine and it looks like this and it is just a pretty kind of pink purple color and so I'm going to use that just to give my face some color today. And that is the lip I am going to go with today. Oh yeah! That is my finished look, an easy eye and soft cheek and a pop of color on my lips. So, alright guys, so this is how it turned out. It's just a super easy quick look that you can pull together very easily with not a whole lot of products um, and it's very easy to recreate as well so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope this was helpful and if it was please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you haven't thank you so very much um, yeah and I will see you guys in my next video bye